I put my foot down to the floor and as you can see, it pulls me back, but there's no noise whatsoever. So as you can see to the left of me, we have the BMW i3, the all electric car from BMW. Now I haven't actually driven an electric car before, so I'm incredibly excited to get into this. We're gonna be taking a look around the car, having a look at the interior, feeling what it's like to drive coming from a petrol head. And we're gonna be deciding whether or not this car is enough to convert a petrol head into an electric motor. But let's get into the video. Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So as you can tell from that little bit of an intro there, to the left of me we have the BMW i3. Now I just want to say a massive thank you to Bluebell BMW and crew for allowing me a little time to take this out. But it's my first time in an electric car so I'm very interested to find out what it's like. Now if you've been watching the channel for quite a long time you may know that I am an absolute petrol head. I have been since I was a very young child. I've had all the hot hatches that you can possibly think of. I currently have the GT86 so it'll be interesting to see whether this could convert me to an electric vehicle. Now the BMW i3 comes in at the lower end of the electric car scale for BMW being shadowed by the i8 and also the i3s which is a new release in 2017. Now compared to the i3s this i3 has a lower powered motor at only around 170 brake horsepower but of course you get that instant torque. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video we'll be taking a look at the exterior, we'll be taking a look at the interior of the car where BMW have made a conscious effort to use recyclable materials all in the effort of saving the planet. So as I mentioned a a bit earlier this car delivers 170 brake horsepower through its electric motor with 184 pound foot of torque now the total range for the bmw i3 is around 150 miles so as a consumer i don't think that's quite enough to warrant me actually buying this car and i think from my perspective any car that i buy that is going to be electric will need to have a range of around 300 miles now we are going to take a look around the exterior and the interior of the car we're going to talk around some of the quirkiness of it this car for example has suicide doors so the only cars that i can remember that have suicide doors are the Mazda RX-8 and many of the Rolls Royces so let's have a look around the exterior we'll take a look at the interior and then we'll take it out on the road so here we are then let's take a look around this BMW i3 now this car is an imperial blue metallic which is a dark blue color which looks great in the sunlight now it's sporting the 19 inch diamond cut wheels I was actually quite surprised to learn that they were 19 inch I honestly thought they would be smaller so we're just going to take a look around the car now and we're going to start with the suicide doors first and foremost. We need to open up the front door first, make sure that's open. We have a little bit of a latch on the left hand side here, undo that and bring it back. And now we have a good through view of the car which can make some interesting photos, especially if you're quite creative. So we're just going to close these up and carry on looking around the car. There is a specific way to close it, you need to close the back door first, then you need to close the front door or else the front door won't shut. Now to start to move around the front of the car you will see the signature BMW kidney grills just along the front there but of course they don't act as actual air vents as there's no engine to cool. Similar situation with the little grill at the bottom we have some styling cues over there with the LED daytime running light and the grey LED front headlights as well. Now you can tell that this is an electric car due to the blue ring around the front of the badge here and there are a couple of other things that you need to keep an eye out for too. So we're going to move back around this way as the sun isn't on the other side of the car so it's quite hard to see. There are some other styling cues to note here including the gloss back mirror caps here and also the 19 inch diamond cut wheels as we spoke about earlier on. As we move around to the back we have this nice little silver stripe running all the way down the side of the car and it goes all the way to the back. Now as we reach the rear of the car of course you'll notice there's no exhaust pipes, no diffusers, tail pipes or anything of that matter and we have a look down here there's an i3 badge with a blue inlay and another BMW badge in the rear with a blue surrounding. So let's go have a look at the interior of this car and you will see why I've called it quirky and unique as soon as you open the door. So let's open the front door, sorry about if you can hear any wind noise. You're immediately greeted by this beigey creamy coloured interior here along with a lot of blue accents around the steering wheel. We've got some green accents on the seats here rather interesting dashboard which I'll speak to you about in a quick moment. So here we are on the interior of the BMW i3, please don't mind the GoPro over there, but the first two things that you realise are that we've got two screens, one of them here and one of them in the middle, so I'm just going to bring the car to life so you can see them in action, let's have a peek over the steering wheel here. So this is where all your driver data is such as your speed, your mileage, your range and also the charge left on the battery, sorry if you could hear any music there, it was just the car turning on, and then in the middle here we've got the usual iDrive systems. 
so this is a brilliant system by BMW if you've never been in one you won't know what I'm talking about but you have this little controller down here that you control everything on the screen with so I'm turning it left to right right to left and it's moving along with it now this car is featured with the upgraded system here so you can actually go to address input go to the postcode here and you can also write on here as well so you can actually put it down in writing Four like that um, and you can also put all the address destinations in that way too so I've just turned the car off for a moment while I've got the door open because the car was making a lot of noise and as you can see on this middle screen here it says BMW i now the i signifies BMW's electric range of cars and that's what comes up when you turn the car on and off now one interesting thing about this car is that it's actually got a carbon tub so you can actually see a little bit of the carbon weave in there as well and as I mentioned earlier BMW made a conscious effort to make this car eco-friendly so all of these materials in here are recyclable and have been recycled from other materials as well and the other materials we've got in here are almost like a bit of a a bit of a bronze bit on here we've got some nice fabric along the sides there as well it all feels very nice it all feels very very BMW so what we're going to do we're just going to close the door up if you can find the handle here close the door there and then i'm going to talk you through how to use this little device so as you can see we're on the interior of the bmw i3 and i said i wanted to show you how this little device over here works so i've actually got my camera here so i can show you so essentially what you need to do is put your foot on the brake here click this little start stop button and you'll see that the car comes into life and then what you need to do is you need to move this little bit up here and then of course I'm going to put the camera down before we set off. But as soon as you let your foot off the brake and accelerate, the car will then move away. So we've got the car in drive. I'm just going to put my foot on the accelerator and away we go. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I am quite the petrol head. So setting off in the car and having no noise whatsoever is quite possibly one of the weirdest sensations that I've ever come across. Now, I was quite interested in driving the electric car because a lot of people have got them now. I see a lot more Teslas on the roads. I see a lot more electric cars being released by manufacturers. So I wanted to get in it and find out how it works. So this car is the first stepping stone into trying out a couple of electric cars to find out if there's actually an electric car that will turn a petrol head to buying one. This car has 170 brake horsepower and 184 pound foot of torque. And what you need to remember is all of that torque is available instantly. And you've got to remember that this is a lower powered car as well. So there is the i3S, which has around 15 or 20 more brake horsepower. But we're just coming onto a dual carriageway now. I'm gonna put my foot down to the floor and as you can see it pulls me back but there's no noise whatsoever so we've very quickly just hit 60 mile an hour we're going to calm down a little bit and there's one thing that i realized when i was driving this car down to where we've just been filming is that i don't feel like i want to drive fast in this car it's very quiet it's very serene it's quite spongy in terms of the suspension but i mean that in a comfortable way and i just feel it's more comfortable than anything else so yes you've got the niceness of being able to charge your car at home so you don't need to go out to be able to get some more juice and you can just go out and have a nice leisurely drive so if i were to get an electric car into the garage or onto the channel it would have to be supplemented by another car such as a subaru that's just gone past something loud something fast and something that gives you that oral sensation of when you're driving a car so a couple of weeks ago when i found out that i would be reviewing the bmw i3 i posted on my jjb youtube facebook page asking people a question of whether they would buy an electric car and what would tempt them from a petrol or diesel car into one of these now the answers that i received were quite surprising a lot of the people do have modified cars on there and a lot of people didn't want an electric car because you don't get the sensation of the sound the vibration the feel of going fast in a car and i completely appreciate that because this is almost senseless in a way you're just driving along it's really quiet you've got no gears there's pretty much no work for you to do apart from put your foot on the accelerator and brake and even then this car does almost brake for you when it's charging back up so as soon as you take your foot off the accelerator you can feel the car braking but you can also see on the dashboard here that it is also charging the battery back up now the bmw i3 isn't the ideal choice of electric car for a lot of people bmw have been producing this car for quite a number of years now and a lot of people say it is behind on the technology compared to the likes of the tesla and also the other electric cars available on the market i mean even if you look at the tesla cybertruck which is another beast in itself the top level of that car has a range of 350 or 400 miles so that i could live with 
you know if I'm looking at the GT86 I get roughly 300 miles out of the tank if I'm wanting to go into an electric car I would want the same or more than that so as we sat here on a dual carriage we're on the way back to Bluebell BMW we're cruising in silence the sound on this video is probably going to be one of the best ones ever because there's no vibrations there's no wind noise it's all very quiet in here so you can probably hear me quite clearly the BMW i3 does give quite an interesting prospect, of course BMW have gone down the line of making this car as eco-friendly as possible, not just down to the engine, but down to the materials that the car and the interior is made of. Now if I was somebody who was making every move possible to try and help the world and try and make things more eco-friendly, then the BMW i3 would definitely be a competitor on that list. However, an electric car to me, yes it's good to have one that is eco-friendly, but I think I'd want something with a little bit more oomph, a little bit more range, and a little bit more style about it. So whilst we're on the point of style then, I get asked a question quite a lot, and that is, would you buy an electric car? My answer isn't no, I'm just waiting for the right one to come around. And if I do buy one, I would have to have it supplemented with another car that has the sound, that has the feeling of a fast car, that also isn't that eco-friendly. And I think only once I'm in that position, would I then be satisfied with having an electric car supplemented by a petrol one? And if I can summarise the problem around electric cars today, is that they all look the same, they're all made for the same target market, so they're all made for the person who drives a BMW 3 Series. Look at the Tesla Model S, look at the Tesla Model Y, it's a big SUV, look at the Tesla Model 3, I think that's the ugliest one so far. Even the Tesla Cybertruck is made for people who want seven seats in a car. I think as soon as they start bringing out the Tesla Roadster and almost sporty looking cars is when my interest will then be peaked. And even then it will need to have good range, it will need to have good performance and it will definitely need to look the part to make up for the lack of sound. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is my first journey in an electric car. Have I enjoyed it? Yes, I have enjoyed it thoroughly actually. It's a very nice and very relaxing sensation. It's very weird to begin with since there's no sound and of course you have that instant talk as soon as you put your foot down on the accelerator. Would I buy one? Not quite at this moment and I would definitely not buy the BMW i3 and that's just my perspective. As I mentioned quite a few times throughout this, I would need extra range and I would need something looking a bit better. Would I recommend that you guys go and drive one? Yes, definitely. If you haven't had an electric car experience yet, go drive a Tesla, go to your nearest BMW garage and go try an i3 or one of the i8s. If you're local to crew over in Cheshire, come over to Bluebell BMW and drive this exact car. This is one of their demonstrators. So I'm coming to the end of my time with the BMW i3 and I must say that it's definitely growing on me the more that I drive it. I'm smiling more, I'm enjoying the ride more and yes as I mentioned it's very comfortable it's very quiet but it's not a bad car to drive if you have the opportunity to go and try out a BMW i3 then I urge you to go and at least try it and once again big thank you to Bluebell BMW for giving me the opportunity to do this if you have enjoyed this video please remember to like it subscribe to the channel keep up to date with what I'm doing share the video with your friends who might like electric cars and until next time I'll see you then